Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So um, we're going to be reading out of John. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, my the channel that I have here. Um, if you go into the part where it says um, oldest and you click on the oldest videos and you go in and scroll down to some of the, or up, I think it's down, to some of the um, videos, um, you'll see Satan's counterfeit light. And um, I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna talk a little bit, bit about the counterfeit light because a lot of people that have thought they had a light had something that was dark. And I wanna make sure that they understand that the Word of God is the light. Um, that, and the children of light believe on the Son of the living God, the Son of Man, Jesus, Christ Jesus. Um, and he was the light that came in and the counterfeit light is opposite it does not remain in the word and the doctrines of Christ it rem it does other they do other things and they have a Christ consciousness but it's not the Christ of the Bible that we're going to read here in the book of John um, <clears throat> here's the videos so this one here is a Satan's defeat right here I'm gonna so this is Michelle Obama She's doing the meditative light or she's being taken over. And you can see her face is like a serpent. And that's like we showed you the um, dollar bill and the pyramid. The, the Pharaoh was a serpent king. And so that's Satan's counterfeit light. And that fights against God's army, the true light, which is the word of God. So they... I believe these are when they get white eyes and they have white shining around their face like this I believe that is a fallen angel which is very different than someone who has black eyes and is you know I believe that is a demon um, in that person so there's a difference between the fallen angels and a demon so the giants are demons they turn into demons they don't have a body so they seek a body but this is a fallen angel spirit and you can see the white on the face very different so they come as an angel of light a messenger of light but that light is a counterfeit light Michelle is doing the Masonic Jesuit Shriner uh, meditation it's a Kabbalah Hinduist type Buddhist thing and they do this med mystical meditation and it gets them into a place where these demon where the fallen angel can take over their body and in the scripture it says in the scriptures <clears throat> it says be careful the light that you think you have and jesus said be careful the light you think you have isn't really darkness and really what she's getting is darkness and it says in the scriptures that um that uh um how did it get, how did he say that that um, don't go when they say he's in a secret chamber believe it not so they have a secret chamber that we showed you on the dollar bill that pyramid um, that they are saying it is light but it's not it's the only one that is the door is the Lord Jesus they are not a door the Lord Jesus the Son of Man you must be in him to have entrance into the Father Jesus we're gonna that's why we're gonna read John because John uh, the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 show that you must be in the Son, in the G in Jesus, in the Son. These Michelle Obama and and uh, her Michelle and her husband. I don't know if it's a she or a he. I don't I don't know. Some people say that she is a he. I, I'm not sure. Um, so they say that they are Christian but they're really not they also say they're muslim so that's a combination of something else other than um a, a born again christian that is something totally different and we, i'm going to combine these two videos this one and this one because it's very important in this video here it's called when they say peace and safety set in destruction uh, they talk about the galaxy uh and all and they show pictures of these lights that come down out of the sky and one uh, picture, which you'll see in this video, I think it's around 11, 12, somewhere around there. Um, they show these lights in the sky and they make the form of the name of Allah. And so these two women are worshiping this light bearer, which they call Allah. And we know that Allah does not have a son. So we know that's not our 
that's not our our god this is a different this is the the god of the dead and so this woman here claims she's going up in a ship called a galactic spaceship ship and she talks about how the world is going to be having a new um, money system and there's going to be peace and everybody's going to be rich and it's going to be a, um, a time of, of great um, peace and all these other weird things a positive thinking which we know that the power of positive thinking is an occult practice this occultic pra practice is not found in the scriptures I mean Jesus did talk about you know keep your minds on above things above things of good report and um, of things of um, praiseworthiness but what they're talking about, what these people are talking about, is demonic. It is not of God. Their power of positive thinking is very different. And she talks about going up in the spaceship ships um, with these lights and talking about how they're coming. And so this was several years ago that I did that, these videos. But I want to bring them back to your attention. Um, I might put them in the description box. I don't know how to do two, but I'll, I'll try to do this one first and then do this one. This one's very important because um, you'll get to see that there's been lights in the sky for quite some time. The Lord showed me that those lights that are those little dots are serpents, and I have proof of that. Um, I'm going to show you right now, actually. Um, hold on just a second. I'm going to put you down for a second. Hold on. Hold on. So these serpents, um, the day that this picture was taken, I'm not going to show you the whole picture because the person that's in the picture I don't want to show, but the day that this picture was taken, I saw in the sky those, um, those lights all around, um, above, and I started praying, but they come out of their ships, these serpents, and they come out and they get, they force their way in. God talked about how they force their way in to people. This is like a light. And it's like a serpent. Jesus talked about the counterfeit light. We're going to go into that a little bit in the, in the next video. And when I read the scriptures to you. So you'll see these two people are, are doing the same type of thing. And they're going into ships. Some of these creatures force their way in to people like the picture I just showed you when the person doesn't even know but these people are literally communicating with these entities and going into their ships so when in the scriptures you see where God says one will be taken one will be left um, in the field there is two different times when he talks about that one is when the Lord Jesus takes us into the kingdom. We'll meet him in the air and we'll for, be forever with him. Another time he's talking about the tares that he binds and burns. These people are being taken into ships. These people are being taken. Their body is be, being left desolate because a spirit, an entity is coming into them and their body is desolate because they're not letting the word of God, the Holy Spirit, dwell in them they're getting caught up in some mystical weird antichrist stuff so we're going to go into that here in a little bit agape love to you brethren